वेलकम टू माई चैनल सर योगा दिस सीक्वेंस ऑफ योगा एंड प्राणायाम फ्लो इज फोकस्ड ऑन इम्प्रूविंग द डाइजेस्टिव ऑर्गन्स योर डाइजेशन एंड ऑल्सो स्ट्रेंथनिंग द डोमिनल मसल्स दिस फ्लो अपार्ट फ्रॉम डिटॉक्सिंग योर बॉडी विल काम यू गेट यू सेंटर इम्प्रूव योर फ्लेक्सीबिलिटी एंड स्ट्रेंथ Let's fold our hands above the head, taking a deep breath in, and extend and stretch ourselves fully, straightening our spine and getting centered for the practice today. Let's thank the universe and let's try to balance ourselves in the tree pose, with a smiling face and attention between the eyebrows. If we begin our practice of yoga with asanas like tadasan the balancing poses we are instantly centered calmer and more effective in our practice let's repeat that the side as you can notice today i'm struggling to find the balance but that's all right this is yoga you're not aiming at perfection but you're trying to attempt to improve at every step come back again to your pose let's do tadasan a couple of deep breaths and then get centered now let's begin our session with the theta trikonasan extending the legs beyond hip with the part stretching the hands and then trying to bend with the obliques to the right and holding the right foot with the right hand and extending the left above trikonasana or the triangle poses are very excellent for turning your legs and giving them a complete stretch if you have any back pain that will be okay Let's repeat the pose in with the twist parivrutta trikonasana which is an excellent detox pose it improves the digestion continue breathing and keep focusing on your inhalations and exhalations realign yourself in every asana to get the maximum benefit Let's come to the center and repeat to the other side. Turn your left foot towards the left direction. Your right, your both feet should be perpendicular to the, each other. Your left hand is placed on the left foot and right hand is extended out. Continue breathing. Try to look at the tip of the right thumb. and in breathing paribrutta trikonasana now place your right palm next to your left foot and do the twist in the triangle keeping your hands straight feel your navel center feel your digestive organs being re-energized paribrutta trikonasana Let's come to the center. Now let's do Parsha Konasan. This is the side angle pose where you are placing your right hand behind the right foot and your right thigh is exactly parallel to the floor. Your left hand is extended above. and you close your eyes keeping the focus between your eyebrows continue breathing do not lift your feet keep them extended now let's do parivrutta pashukonasana we are 
you're repeating the entire set of the pose with a twist. All twists are excellent for digestion. Extra blood and energy flows in your abdomen and you feel centered. Now let's come to the other side of Parsha Konasana. Get your left thigh totally parallel to the floor. And you are extending your right hand above the right ear. I think you can look down and continue breathing. Do not lift your feet. Repeat this entire set of asana in a twisted form, Paribhrata Parsha Konasana. The right palm is next to the right foot. Come to the center. Jump or walk and walk to the center. Take a deep breath in. Namaste. Continue breathing. Now let's repeat the sequence of Virabhadrasana 1, 2 and 3 in both the directions. Stretch your legs with both the feet pointing in the same direction and your left foot is way ahead your left knee. With your legs totally stretched and your hands extended above the head, you should feel a spine stretch and your core muscles and your abdomen being re-energized. This is Warrior 1, Virabhatra 1. come to the center and get into the Virabhadra 2, Warrior 2. The left thigh is as parallel to the yoga mat as possible. The left foot is slightly ahead of the left knee. And you take a stance into a couple of deep breaths here. Fill your lungs in every inhalation and relax in this pose with every exhalation. Let's come to Virabhadra 3, which is an excellent asana pose that re-energizes the core, strengthens your lower back and tones the legs. Try to keep your legs as straight as possible. Cut your deep breaths and steady ourselves and come to the center. Let's repeat the entire sequence of Virabhadra 1, 2 and 3, the opposite direction. Extend your legs for Virabhadra 1, Warrior 1. Firmly planting the feet on the yoga mat. Do not lift the heel or your toes. They should be firmly planted on the yoga mat. Your hands are extended above the head. Feel the stretch in the hamstring, your legs are straight, the leg behind your body is straight and your forward stepped up leg is having the thigh parallel to the yoga mat. Now let's come to warrior 2 or Virubhadra 2. In Virubhadra 2, you are extending, stretching your legs as much as possible and your right thigh is parallel to the yoga mat. The hands are extended in both directions. Continue breathing. Focus on the stretches in your legs. Now let's do Virabhadra 3. Virabhadra 3 not only tones your legs but also relieves any back pain or core related pain in digestion or any stiffness in the body, especially the lower body. Continue breathing and get yourself balanced in this pose. Come to the center. Now 
let's do the artha chandrasan the half moon pose where you have to get to the left side and lifting your right leg you're placing your left palm in front of the left foot try looking up at the thumb the right thumb continue breathing and feel the stretch in your legs and the glute muscles this also detoxes your stomach your entire body and gets rejuvenated let's repeat ardha chandrasan to the other side like a moon like a half moon your left leg is extended above and your right leg is firmly placed your right hand is ahead of the right foot like a half moon you're stretching and feeling the stretch slowly come back now you can place your hands gently on the yoga mat stretch your spine and come to the center with namaste continue breathing now let's do reverse namaste i'm showing you how it's to be done with reverse namaste let's do some hamstring stretches which also detoxes our body step your right foot as distant as possible that you can and with a deep exhalation and the continuing of reverse namaste you're trying to touch the nose on the knee the right knee both the feet are firmly planted and pasted on the yoga mat the heel do not lift at all continue breathing feel the stretch in the shoulders but your focus is in your breathing that is a very calming effect let's repeat let's repeat the sequence of asana Pashvatthanasan in the other side. Take a deep breath in, go back and stretch and now with the exhalation you are folding forward. The legs are completely straight, the nose touches the left knee. Continue breathing. Feel your navel center. Be alert of the blood flowing in your digestion, digestive system. Namaste and let's continue breathing. Mm-hmm. Let's do Sarvangasan, an excellent asan that stimulates the thyroid glands. Lie down on the yoga mat. lift your booty up legs completely straight hands supporting the lower back sarvangasan your chin is tucked between the collarbones close your eyes be attention be, be attentive to all the energy that's tingling in your body continue breathing now You may do a slight variation of Sarvangasana, Ekpad Sarvangasana, where you place your right foot gently behind your head, but your left leg is extended straight up. Repeat the other side. This time your right foot is gently placed behind your head and your left leg stretches and extends above touching the sky. continue breathing so we lift both the feet together up like a candle sarvangasana from sarvangasana this is the time to move into halasana halasana is again a great pose that not only stretches your lower back but also aids in digestion the stomach liver spleen pancreas all the internal organs are rejuvenated with fresh blood that flows in the body 
Continue breathing, keeping your legs straight as possible. Slowly, mm -hmm. with one vertebra at a time, gently place the legs on the yoga mat. Couple of deep breaths to get centered and relax in the body. Now let's lift our body to Navasan. Your eyes, feet and hands all in the same line. Body is lifted, supported only on your booty, on your buttocks. And slowly if you can, complete it with Purna Navasan. Lifting your legs further like a V. Continue breathing in this pose. This pose is also known to correct any deformity in navel displacements or solar plexus troubles. Continue breathing. This sequence of flow is very effective for acidity, healing, flatulence, gas troubles and other digestion related challenges. Now you must slowly get up and let's do Marichasan. You bend your right leg keeping the right foot next to the left knee. Extending your right hand up. I am showing you how you place your left hand for support and you clasp both the hands together and bend forward. Relax in this pose. This is very good for detoxing and acidity related challenges. Heals the stomach and the gut area. Marichas. to the entire sequence the other direction let me turn so that you can see how it's to be performed fold your left leg and take the support of your right hand so that you don't talk extend your left hand behind and clasp both the hands together and with a deep breath in you bend forward and try to touch your right knee with your forehead or the loose. Marichyasa. Slowly come back to the original position. Then let's do a twist, a detox twist, Arthamatsyendrasan. A spinal twist place your left foot next to your right knee I'm doing it for the right leg first so place your right foot next to the left knee hold your left foot with the left hand and look behind if you if it's possible you can place your hand underneath the crook of the legs and clasp the hands together feeling the twist in each breath Ardhamatsendrasan will detox your body and relieve you from any toxins let's repeat it the other direction tuck your right foot under your hip place your this time we are doing it in the left different direction that means you have to tuck your right foot under your hip and left foot is being held by the left hand look behind and if you can you can clasp your hands between the crook of the legs and continue breathing Pay attention to all the sounds and the energy that's been triggered in your body. 
continue breathing and with every exhalation give yourself a further twist and a further intense stretch let's lie down in shalabhasan ardha shalabhasan first place your hands next to your body chin on the yoga mat and lift your right leg straight at least 6 to 10 inches above the body let's repeat it the other side direction of the side continue breathing feel your navel center getting re-energized place the legs down now make fists keep them under your groin and keeping your feet together gently lift your legs salabhasan the locust pose the chin is placed on the yoga mat you are supported on the navel center continue breathing salabhasan is very good for internal organs such as liver stomach spleen or gastrointestinal organs let's do bhujangasan keep your feet close to each other and lift from the waist up bhujangasan the snake pose your hands are slightly bent and they are touching your body relax dhanurasan now hold your feet your ankles with your hands and lift your self up being supported on your knee so with every inhalation and exhalation you for the stretch your body like the way it's i'm showing you mm-hmm. and relax the sequence of asanas and body poses are complete now let's do kapal bhati pranayam an excellent breathing technique which will help you detox you can either sit with your right foot on the left thigh or you can gently place your left foot on the right thigh i would prefer to sit in lotus pose padmasan you can choose sukhasan or any folded leg pose just ensure that your spine is erect and your fingertips the index finger and the thumb tip of the thumb are touching each other now exhale with force and as you exhale out you have to push your stomach inside kapal bhati pranayam forceful exhalations just continue breathing continue with your kapal bhati pranayam at a pace that you can manage focus between your eyebrows feel feel your stomach spleen all the digestion related organs get re-energized with this excellent breathing technique when you sit outside in the park there seems to be some grass or some ants creeping on your hands Continue with Kapal Bhati Pranayam. As you will say, you have to push your stomach inside. And with a lot of joy and exhilaration, you can also feel the energy circulating in the body. Pranayams are excellent means to calm your body, aerate your lungs and heart for a complete total fitness. and centeredness continue with your kapal bhati forceful exhalations at a pace that you can manage the inhalation is so soft that you don't feel it but you are only focused on forceful exhalation continue with kapal bhati couple of more rounds if you have any stomach related ailments it is recommended to do kapal bhati at least two rounds of 5 minutes each
पंजी में एक कपाल भाति प्राणायाम फॉर अ कपल ऑफ मोर राउंड्स ये पिंडर आईज क्लोज एंड पेइंग अटेंशन टू द एनर्जी इन योर बॉडी आफ्टर दिस राउंड ऑफ कपाल भाति यू मे स्लोली लाइ डाउन इन शवासन और द कॉप्स पोज विथ आईज क्लोज पाम्स फेसिंग द सेलिंग I thank the universe and my gurus and yoga teachers who have helped in creating this form of body exercise yoga which is the union of breath soul and mind it has been so beneficial to mankind relax and relax that ends our session today